Illusion 3D Art uh, was officially opened in August 2015. And um, we were quite uh, popular because this is the D entertainment that people look for indoors. And we had an invitation to set up a branch in uh, Aquaria KLCC. Now in Illusion 3D Art Museum here itself, we have got 36 pictures. 36 huge hand-painted pictures. And um, it depicts various forms of uh, art. Now, um, but here along, we have got a jewel. We have Augmented Reality by Indy Shaker, a very popular video producer for animation. Well, we have pictures all in 3D form, portraits, um, agricultural, still life, village, and pictures of some very prominent VIPs. In fact, all pictures are popular because it depends on the individual likes and, 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 and preference. You know? Some like to stand behind the iconic uh, KTM railway, railway measure. Kereta api tanah Melayu. They some like to be associated with the wildlife like orangutan. Some like to be associated with the first Prime Minister of Malaysia. Basically, it's a really cool place because you can take photos and even you can uh, boost your creativity for sure. And then I like the painting because it's all hand painted and it's been painted by local artists. It's really fun. I've never been like this before. It's awesome. This place looks awesome. Uh, and the 3D arts of the water, the Titanic one, very nice. It's like a luxury gift for us to come came here. When they come into Malaysia, the first thing first is they want to know what's available. How can they have memorable pictures taken? How can they can remember Malaysia in the best way possible? They sent me to an, a, a very um, historic place, Central Market. It's already more than 100 years old, a century. And almost everything is kept to its original state, building wise, and even for some of those souvenir hunters. You've got items that are still available, antiques. Mm, for me, the, the different, the unique uh, itineraries here is we have the augmented reality. So the augmented reality is the, we're having collaboration with National Geography. It's a fun thing to experience and even uh, you can experience all 3D painting that different from others. And um, coming up here, for example, they have a chance to understand what actually uh, life has been through with the various stages that Malaysia has, uh, has, has, has gone through. Okay, from, from wells dug into the ground, the early days, in the 50s, the 40s, from the village life to the very uh, urban state that we are in now, currently. When they post within these pictures or beside these pictures, it is something that will always be interesting as and when these pictures are brought out for discussion among the family members, among friends and relatives and so forth. And they will always remember, look, 
was during this time that I was there and I took a picture and I had so and so with me. And it's going to be a conversation that's going to be fully appreciated, remembered excitingly. Uh, for me, it's not only, you know, when we talk about uh, today, we need to invest something that is not entertainment but it's also educational. So inside the video that we just watched, the augmented reality is educational trip. So the kids, they will know more about dinosaur and then they will get to know about dinosaur because we know that Asian people is, doesn't have a lot of, you know, a lot of information about dinosaur but inside there, we can learn and we can get to know most of the extinct uh, animal that have in the world. before the art is so unique here not only uh, indicates the reality of Malaysia because usually you can see the orangutan here the rubber stamps are it's all local but besides that shows that talent talent it has you should come here one time <laughs> There's a lot of difference between 3D art, painted pictures, and digital prints. Um, number one, the cost. It's almost four to five times the cost of a digital print. Number two, you come up close, up close, real close, you touch, feel the texture. Then you're able to know, oh, this is art, this is real art. So there's a lot of difference. For art lovers, this is the place to come. Actually, I like this Fuji very much, even though it's not that big compared to others. Because it seems like they have a lot of meaning for me because, you know, you can see that kids actually, they have a long journey to you to go to your life because actually our life have a really long journey and then we need to compete to others. So it's really good. It's really good and, you know, it's inspired me to be somebody in the future. We welcome all visitors to Malaysia. This is one place that you must make it a point to put it into your itinerary. Do not miss this opportunity once in a lifetime because these pictures, eventually we will change continuously. So when you make this visit, you know for sure that this is one picture that you have seen and it may not be there again for you to see.